What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the Maintenance Man channel. My name is Neil. Thank you for joining us. I'm doing another Vito Pro Pack bag update because I had a subscriber, Sam, or a viewer, that uh, wanted to see uh, how the bag is holding up. So, first I'll go over everything that's inside of it after I show you the outside. But, in, ter in terms of holding up, you know, zippers still work. It's still stretching out, but zippers are in good shape there. You know, the, the strap holding up good. Nothing wrong with that. A little bit of dirt there. The handle holding up good. It's a big beefy handle, you know. Uh, the bag just um, not too beat up on the bottom. It has a nice bottom to it. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Uh, so here's one thing I can say is you know it, it's it's weighed up pretty good I know a lot of people ask me why that is and just is what it is because I do a lot of different things um, but mostly I will depending on the job take tools out of there and put them in there um, if I'm doing a turnover or a remodel I'll take the whole bag with me or if uh, you know an apartment just has a lot of work you know electrical plumbing all that I'll take that with me but usually I can fill up one of these with the supplies I need per job uh, but what I will say is this does go and travel with me I've kind of broken my tools down so you know it goes in the vehicle and I will say uh, if you don't have it secured down it goes a flying so this thing has been beating around in the bed of my truck and it's holding up great to that um, I do try to limit I mean it's not like I do it purposely just sometimes it gets 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 away and starts flying around and it's pretty you know not good but anyways um, so yeah on the this is the smaller bag and you know I wish I could get the bigger one but I got this one and I'm just making it work and it does work has a outside pocket here and one there where I keep a light has <clears throat> place for a tape measure some pens and I have a light there on the other side you know it has all these these hooks and stuff so you can hang stuff off of there I got drill bits and stuff another pocket here got a digital measure and a couple of sockets in there and then over on this side you got uh, this is supposed to be shown later but over on this side you got another you know hook here if you want to hang something off of there got a few more pockets I keep my little my little stubby work pro ratchet over here um, yeah so let's uh, get into the bag all right, so getting in the bag here, you know, have all this tape and stuff on the side. I do have this uh, InnoFox LED light that is, you know, a th I think it's a thousand or fifteen hundred lumens. Has a magnet, has a hook in the back here. You can use it as a uh, USB charger. Um, <clears throat> I bought two of them. They're nine dollars a piece. It's worked great. Held up good so far have a few months i mean this is all rubber over moldings on the sides and stuff just just a good deal there and then recently i bought this little mantis because the one thing that doesn't have that doesn't stand up well this little mantis light which is like 200 lumen or something like that may 150 it has a little stand but good for under the sinks you can charge usb has battery light indicator it goes from that to that to a flashlight to off so so far so good with this little mantis it's a it's it's small you know it's small it's nice works out well and I got this little tape measure you know this is a thin tape measure to do window screens you know when I have to measure for those um, inside on this side is my say it's more geared towards electrical work 
so I've got the old craftsman hammer and so you have one two three four so you have two big pockets two medium pockets here at the bottom and then you have one two three four pockets in the back there's placements for bits back there if uh let me see if i can get you closer here well you can see it bits in the back or whatever you want to stick in there this is like a it's not a pocket but i wish it were so you get behind there it's a little tab here so you can hang something from there if you wanted to and there's a pocket up here i have my electrical outlet tester i have i brought if you guys remember i had these uh fuck you is is the name of the company fakia um and you know they've been holding up good um i did go to these the vera wera and i like these but um i i don't know i wasn't the tips are good but they just uh sometimes don't work out how you think they would um <clears throat> i also have a green lee non-contact voltage tester i have a little general this is a infrared thermometer mini um got the uh i think these are kinepex insulated yeah kinepex kinepex insulated needle nose screwdrivers come in handy this is that work pro conduit level i don't use it very often as a conduit level but this is a great level just to have in the bag small level for whatever you're doing plumbing electrical or hanging a medicine cabinet works out well um, i do have the small crescent you know snips little snippers here they've worked out well for me so far i don't know they do seem a little yeah, not too many people have good experiences with them. Tools and Trash suggested these a long time ago to me, and they have been working great. Um, the Klein needle nose, and they have um, the wire strippers. I also have a wire stripper in here just, just to have, you know, out of habit. I can get away with just using this, though. I could probably take this out of the bag, but sometimes you got two people on a job site or just sometimes that works out better i do have these nws pliers that have you know i like them they work good i always like to have two sets of needle noses in the bag i have this tajima knife you know works out good and then in terms of side cutters and linesmen I've been using these, uh, the Crescent with the pivot, and I, I really like them. I do. Worked out well, held up well. Last but not least, a uh, cool thing on this side is, um, and I sort of just jam it all in there, but it works. It does work. It's, it's not an issue. Is I just picked up this, and I'll do a separate review on it. But it's a little multimeter and it's also it's also doubles as a non-contact voltage tester you know it comes with your leads it came with extra batteries plus the batteries that go in there it's digital um it was inexpensive and it's i mean it's small you know it's it's a small footprint so perfect for a bag like this um doesn't get bumped on or anything like that i've i've really enjoyed it get that craftsman in there the hammer this fits just perfect if it were any bigger would not fit i believe that's a 20 ounce hammer now let's go to the general side of things i got all my drill bits like uh masonry bits and you know just a ton of drill bits in there um have a little craftsman digital measure up in these pockets and 
there's uh there are spots in this pocket to put um bits and stuff but i just uh i have some sockets in there and up here i have the charging cords to um the the lights that i have but i mean the pocket comes down to here it's a nice pocket very cool um and like i said the zippers they're stout durable hold up well on this side i got a whole mess of things you know these always pop open but some lennox snips um lennox little hacksaw this is for uh seats you know on shower controls got some allen wrenches these cheap stanley's when they went on sale and stanley was selling out these have held up well i like them got my lennox gold knife which is pretty cool because it it opens up you got blade storage in there very cool very cool knife i like it i thought i lost it but i ended up finding it and it's been working great ever since got uh vice grip stanley and the original vice grips needle nose long needle nose got some cobalt these you know come in handy when you need to open stuff and whatnot work out really good i like the grips on them um so this side it comes with a couple of bit holders down here and then you have two pockets on this side and they're both pretty deep you know and then you have one pocket over here and then you have four in the back then over on this side you have two small little little sleeves that like i keep um little picks in there for gaskets and or whatever in there um and that's what you get on this side and then a big pocket up top where you know i have more lights you can't have enough lights man just uh part of the game here um this tool here superior tool have yet to use it um new concept for me but pre pretty cool I and mean, this is magnetized to the tool this will grab all your um <clears throat> shut offs and stuff it has uh you know um no damage uh thingamadoos for the jaws so and a nice grip i mean so I'll, I'll test it out it seems like it's very well built you know i've always if it if it works out well i'll get rid of I'll, i can get these out of the bag but i've always really liked these stanley grips these stanley uh you know crescent wrenches they just they've held up for me over the years and um you know worked out really well next up is the husky screwdriver six and one these are actually on sale at home depot right now if you can still find them they have a two pack for ten dollars and i mean it's it's the only six and one that's held up well for me uh i have a little tectin pry bar for whatever a little crescent pry bar for whatever the hawkeye 3.6 volt screwdriver still working awesome i do i do love this thing it's been getting used pretty well at work and uh it keeps on ticking good investment for me a little lennox pipe wrench you never know when you're gonna need a pipe wrench have some philo screwdrivers on this side I really like I like wood handles I guess I just they're comfortable to me uh, last but not least I have my Nipex Kinepex Nipex they've held up good get a little beat up in the handles as time goes on but that's too be I mean these are in pretty good shape I mean the jaws have all stayed pretty good this big set not so much but um, the teeth are good teeth are still good so and then next up is uh these have been super awesome 
but yeah these have worked out good they're crescent um you got five eighths three quarter nine sixteenths eleven sixteenths five sixteenths seven sixteenths half inch three eighths haven't binded up or anything uh used them on a bunch of different stuff especially like roof fans and stuff uh yeah they're not ideal but man i mean they they work they work really good work great on boiler pumps and stuff i've enjoyed them i've been using a lot of crescent stuff this little side thrown in i've really been enjoying these um pliers a lot i like the the grip zone here i like the handles i mean they are constructed well and um they're doing great even the less expensive versions i i like i've been liking crescent over uh channel lock if i was gonna pick between the two i'm crescent all day and i just picked these needle nose pliers up so i'm gonna put them to the test but once again nice handles nice nice everything been working out great but the moral of the story is Vito Pro Pack holds up it holds up really well you can get a lot in there um, for an apartment maintenance technician that does plumbing electrical works on boilers paints remodels you know all the carpentry do it all um, it comes in handy to have something that is reliable to carry your tools around in so holding up great i appreciate you guys watching um, if you're not subscribed please get subscribed and i'll catch you on the next one later